I was leaving faces. It was TSU, PV homecoming week, you know, just, just, I was bored, just went out to see what was going on. I was on my bike, me and a, me and a old coworker, good friend, left faces, and uh, we went by live oak actually to see who was outside, just to see, you know, parking lot pimping, you know, <laughs> whatever, we're just trying to see who was outside. And um, from there, nobody was out there, so we just, we went ahead, went to the gas station, right down sophomore, right across from, uh, what's that, Denny's or whatever. And uh, from there, he stays on the opposite side of town, near North Shore, so we went different ways. But I think when I was leaving, I went down too far. So instead of me going up under the freeway by where sophomore is, I actually went down further, and I was more like off where Gray was. And so coming from there, I was getting on 28 and 59, where it merges, right by Georgia Brown and all that. So from there, I, I can't say that somebody hit me. I know a lot of people say it was a hit and run, a lot of people say this and that. People say I was speeding. Some people say I was going 100 some miles. If I was going 100 some miles, I'd, I'd be dead right now. But I was going at least 70. To the naked eye, to people that don't ride bikes, to people that's in cars, 70 on a bike is almost like 100 to a car. Because first off, it's smaller, it's lighter. You can get up quick. You know, you're zero to 60 in like almost two seconds. So I'm at least going 70. I know that for a fact. 70 to 75 to get on the freeway. I don't play around getting on the freeway because cars. I'm, I'm sure I'm got on. I look. Nobody was there. And I looked again. Maybe the car was there. I don't know. I can't tell you a car was there because I don't know. I don't remember. You know, but just based on injuries and based on how I ride, I'm, I'm assuming there was a car there. I'm going to assume and say that. And I veered from the car, went into the rail. The rail, then my, my leg wrapped around the rail and threw me off the bike. I remember later that I was screaming for help and I was trying to pick up my leg, but at that time, I don't remember anything. According to my sister, that somebody anonymously called and said where I was, like almost two hours later. This had, all this happened like around 2.35, 2.45. It found me close to four o'clock in the morning. No one really knows exactly what. No one can say that car went here. This happened because of that. No one can pinpoint really what happened. All I know is it happened, and I wasn't supposed to survive it, and I survived it.